What's up guys, Crazy VR here. Today I'm bringing you guys a real video. Like, I'm gonna get real with you guys for a second. So um, I'm gonna actually tell you guys um, a story. Uh, and it's a story I told, I guess about three years ago on my channel. Around, in, around this time, it was in March. Um, and the original video was called How to Beat a Bully. Um, but I'm gonna tell you guys my story um, and then I'm going to tell you guys what it taught me. So, if you guys don't know, um, towards the end of fourth grade, um, up until the end of sixth grade, I was bullied really badly by this by the five of these kids. Uh, Chris, Marty, Sean, Gabe, and Justin. Um, they just... I, I, was fr I, have a, I had a... Or I still do have it. I have a skin disease called eczema. So some of you guys may know that, some of you guys may not know, but basically what it is is your skin peels. Well, my hand, the skin on my hands was always peeling and my face was always peeling and the tops of my arms like right here and right here. Well, they always called me pepperoni because, or pepperoni pizza because, um, or Mr. Pizza or something because when the skin would peel off, you'd see the pink skin underneath it. Um, so they said that was the sauce, my freckles were the pepperoni and my skin was the cheese. Um, so, I mean, that almost, that, that kind of got to me because I used to be sensitive. Um, I used to be really, really sensitive. Um, but, I mean, it got much worse than that. Um, there was times where they'd physically try to hurt me um, and I wouldn't fight back. And I learned that you have to fight back. Um, you can't let them get to you. And uh, But no matter what I did, I was made fun of. Um, I treated everybody the same way and that was with respect respect and um, no matter what I did I got made fun of no matter how I treated somebody and it sucked um, it got to the point where um, I always helped my mom bake cookies around Christmas and it got to the point where I uh, in fifth grade uh, it was December 23rd, we're baking cookies, so you know, it should be a happy time, I should be in a good mood. Um, I walked out into my living room and started sobbing, and I said, I hate my school. Um, so my mom calmed me down and everything, and we talked about transferring schools for me. Um, I ended up deciding that it was, it was nothing, I could deal with it um, for the rest of the year. And we were going to try to get me to my new school in the beginning of sixth grade. Well, they announced that one of the schools close to me was closing, so the school I really liked wasn't accepting new kids um, because they had 50 kids in a sixth grade class, going into sixth grade. So they had somebody drop out in the middle of sixth grade. I went and shadowed, and I registered right away. Um, so I started my seventh grade year at a new school. Um, seventh and eighth grade, I went to a different school. It was a lot better. I had a lot of friends there. Um, no one cared about my past and yeah. And f for, for the last four years I struggled with depression. Seventh, eighth, seventh through tenth grade. I struggled with major issues with depression. Um, and I had to go to a psychologist twice a month. Or, well every two weeks so two or three times a month. What I'm gonna tell you now is what bu being bullied taught me. So, what it taught me that kids are going to be mean no matter what you do. You can't be scared. You got to just be yourself. And if people don't like you, they don't like you. If people hate you, they hate you. If, the, if people hate you, give them 20 more reasons why they should hate you. And that's how I live my life now. Um, I went from being the quiet kid in the back of class who never talked to anybody to being a really loud and confident kid. And some people call me cocky, I really don't care. There's a difference between being cocky and confident. You believe in yourself. That's what confidence is. And cockiness is just, you you talk too much. So some people say I'm cocky. I never ever say I'm capable of doing something that I'm not able to do. Um, it taught me that kids are gonna be mean. It, kids, no matter what you do, so it taught me to just be myself. Um, don't worry about what people say. I used to be afraid to listen to a certain type of music 
I used to turn my music down when people would walk by because I thought they would judge me based on my music tastes. Now, when people walk by, I turn it up and say, hey, have you ever heard this song? I mean, that's just a minor example. But I always, whenever I see a kid sitting alone, I always walk up to him. I try to be friends with him. And that's all I ask of you guys, too. Um, you just try to be friends with him, even if it makes you look weird. Don't worry about it. Because that kid is going to remember that you tried every day of his life. That one person tried. One person. And one person can make a difference in everybody's life. When you get a true friend, when you find a true friend who sticks with you through all your anxiety attacks, through everything, and just helps you, then you're lucky. And that's the one person that should change your life, not the five people that are bullying you. Hopefully this helps you guys if you guys are in a tough situation. If you guys have any questions, feel free to DM me on Twitter. Just If I don't follow you, just tweet me, hey, can you follow me? I need to talk. I'm always willing to follow somebody for D to DM them for whatever reason. If you guys just need to vent, Instagram works too. Just vent to me. I will read it, and I'll try to give you advice as soon as I can because I'm, I'm not going to promise you that I'm going to get back to you the same day. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Just please, please talk to somebody. Thank you, guys.